Hey guys, it's Kristen. So doing a quick video on my own today, showing you some piggies that I'm using in this swipe. This is Sapphire. So I'm doing a swipe on a tile today. This was a request from a friend to make a skin for her, for her headband making business. Here's some maraschino. So she makes headbands and she asked me to do a red, white, and blue skin for her so that's what I'm going to swipe here in this video and my white is TLP simplicity what I'm using here to make this skin is a ceramic tile it is 4 inches by 16 inches So here I'm just putting down my pillow paint, which is a Glidden Premium in eggshell. So I'm laying down my cell activator first, which is Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with Australian Floetrol, three parts Floetrol to one part paint. And now I'll just layer my colors right onto the palette knife. Thanks again for joining us on this Monday night locomotive train. Starting us off was acrylic painting with Julie E, followed by Angie Mason with Angie Mason Fluid Art. And then there's us, Kane Kikri, Ezra Caboose this evening. If you haven't already, please go back and watch the other videos from the other artists. I will have the links in my description box. I add some extra pillow paint around the edges here to make sure everything flows smoothly and then I will take you on over to the puppy pool and we will spin this out.
my camera cuts out just a second here, um, so you missed the end of the spinning, but this is pretty much how it ended up. And the next part is gonna be a different skin that I used to cut with my Cricut. Okay, so previously you will have seen me pour onto this four inch by 14 inch or 16 inch tile. I forget it, I think it's 16 inches. Um, so now it's all dry and I'm just gonna show you how I go about peeling the paint off. So I've already done a couple of edges just to save some time, but what I do is I take my X-Acto knife and I very carefully, I come in a centimeter or so in from the edge of the tile and I just try to cut as straight, as straight as I can across that way. And then I'll do the same thing going across this way. My hand is probably going to get in the way and I apologize for that. But I try not to get too close to the edge so that I don't go off. You gotta give yourself a little bit of extra uh, room to work with there. Okay, so now all four edges have been cut. Then what I do is I just go ahead and I start peeling away the paint, the excess paint, and it'll, it'll come right off. And once I get a corner that I can start to peel up the paint that I want to keep, I just start peeling it back. Very now I just kind of, little by little, pull straight up and I go along the entire length of the tile and you'll see it comes off pretty nicely, these on top. And I just continue <clears throat> to pull it straight up, a little bit at a time so that you're not stretching it. And when you get to about halfway, I flip it around and I do the same thing. Sorry for the shaking. <laughs> I do the same thing on the other side and it peels right off. And even if it does stretch a little bit, once you lay it flat, it will flatten like that. So, there you see my tile and my skin. Perfect. And then you can use this tile again and pour on it. If you have the patience, you can peel. You can peel all the, this paint off the edge and get it nice and clean, or you can just paint over it. I try to get a little bit off. I don't worry so much about the sides. But I, try, I do try to get it off at the front. Otherwise, you'll get a a build up. Okay, so there you go. That's how I get the skin off the tile. Okay, so what I have planned for this skin is to try and make a um, but a decorative um, yeah. bottom, put a decorative bottom on this wine glass. So I bought these wine glasses just from TJ Maxx. They're plastic. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to waste too much money if it didn't work. So what I did was I measured the bottom and I went in centimeters to be as precise as possible and it's eight and a half centimeters. Now I know there's a little divot in the middle but I did you know push the tape down. It's, it's, it's still eight and a half centimeters. So still the same thing. Right. So eight and a half centimeters times four is um, seventeen plus seventeen thirty four centimeters. This skin is 40, so I have plenty of room. Yeah, you can even make it So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'll get to the 20 centimeter mark. Take my X-Acto. Doesn't have to be perfect. just to give myself two halves. 
Sometimes that did not cut very well. Let's try that again. But why did you need to do it times four? Because there's going to be four circles. But there is? Yeah. Why? So I haven't just, because there's four glasses. Oh. But <laughs> I've seen people take two circles and put them back to back and then put it on here so that you have both the pattern showing from the top and from the bottom. So maybe I'll just make two glasses well, for what now. does it look like on the bottom? It's just white. Oh. So I think I'll make two and put them together and then put them on here so that you can see the pattern from both ways. Yeah. And I'll just make two glasses. But then they're different, like, patterns. That's fine. There's, they're going to be different patterns. This is a unique, you can't make two identical paintings. Right? All right, so each one of these is 20. Um, I need eight and a half per, so I can fit two circles on here. Um, I'm gonna try and use my Cricut to cut these, and we'll see how accurate it comes out. Uh -huh. All right, we'll show you that. Okay, so I have open design space, the Cricut design space on my iPad and I selected from the shapes two circles. I measured them out to 8.51 centimeters and I lined them up in the corner on top of each other. I have these four and a half by 12 inch light grip mats. I, it was recommended to use light grip. So when I go to make it, I'm gonna select the it's in centimeters, 11.4 by 30.5 centimeter mat. And then I lined it up right against the edge. So hopefully this will work. Let's take the protective film off of the grip. And we'll line the skin right up in the corner. It's a little bit off. See that light grip allows you to just remove it easily. All right, so up at the top and straight down. It's on there nice. Yep. Okay, and here's my Cricut. She's cute. She's a little Joy. Literally, her name is Joy. Cricut Joy. So I'm gonna feed the mat into the Cricut. It's gonna detect it. Make sure I have enough length to cut. And let's, are we ready to go? Uh-huh. All right. Let's Just watch this amazing thing go. Well, I hope it works. If not, I'm making new skin. One circle down, two circles down. Amazing. See, look how quick that is. I know. Okay, unload it and it comes right out. Close her up, move it to the side. Okay, so let me get my tile. All right, so now I'm just gonna peel away. Oh, it didn't cut very deep. Oh, no, no, we're good. I just had to okay, okay. hold good, it down good. a little bit and ooh, that came close to the top. Uh -huh. Oh, you guys can't see this, sorry. And right. also, we also used the Cricut for when we did our pride, pride collaboration. Right, to cut the peace signs out. Cut the peace signs. Yep. So this- well, that was the hippie one, actually. Not that was fluid stock. Yeah, that was fluid stock. So this is peeling away very nicely. And I have two perfect circles. Oh, a perfect circle, like one of my favorite bands. Okay, let me see. I don't want that. All right. So, I, yeah, I don't. I just want to see. There's a band called Perfect Circle. There is a band called The Perfect Circle. Yes. And it's one of mommy's favorites. All right, so we'll peel the circles off of here gently. Wow. You don't want the oh, circle to end. That's awesome. I know. It's all right. Here you 
perfect. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. And I, and I know what you could do to like stick them together. Yeah. And always put the plastic film back over the mat to protect it. Not, not that these are very expensive because it's sticky, yeah. They're not too, too expensive, but you don't want to wear it down yeah. quicker than it needs to be. All right, so let's see if this fits, first of all. Yes, it fits perfect. It's a little indented, but that's okay. That's what happens. We did it just a point one centimeter off, but it's right. perfect. It might be a little hair too big. Maybe next time I'll set it at 8.49. You did 8.51. Yeah. Oh, no, it's okay. actually like perfect. Perfect. It's All right. a perfect circle. Yes. So the plan is to put them back to back. Yeah. And I have an idea how you can do that without yeah. coming off and it just put acrylic paint under it. So or, I, or I can just glue them together. Yeah. You have to line them up perfectly. And that would be the hard I'll part. The oh, it's actually not too bad. I don't know if I'm ready to glue it yet. Okay. One step at a time, because this is not lining up. I have to think about that too. I wondered if I really even need to glue it. These are sticking together very well. And if I put it on and then I resin it. Ooh, resin it? Ooh. Yeah, because these are sticking together. There's a little bit of, it's not perfectly lined up, but yeah, it's hard to pull them apart. It's hard to pull them apart. So I think maybe if I just trim a little bit of the white that's showing, and get all these bubbles out because there's bubbles in there. All right, oops, we gotta rethink this, okay? Get out any potential air bubbles. Oh, oh, there's a bubble. sticking on its own, but I would definitely have to glue it on there. Mm -hmm. And that, we also have another one. Yeah, I'm gonna have another one that I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna make two glasses out of it. Yeah. But was, it worked. You were speaking really fast right there. <clears throat> yeah, so it but worked. Fast, the Cricut cut through, and with a deep blade, I could probably cut through two layers. I have this other one set up already. Put this through the machine. Let's cut the next one. I don't know why, but for some reason I just found an iron in the closet. <laughs> Let's 
take this off. Cool looking. Yeah, and there's still a little bit on this side. Yeah, well, it's not perfect. Oh, yeah, I'm, but... Well, because it's not on this side, it's not lined up perfectly. Yeah. Then you, you could just cut it. No, it wasn't lined up perfectly on the bottom of the glass, Kayla. It's not that the two sides aren't lined up. There we go. Okay, so when I finish these pieces off, I will make sure to show you guys. Thanks again for joining us tonight. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Please go back and watch the other artists in the premiere train. Uh, the links are in my description box. Everybody have a great night. Until next time, bye.